Hello everyone, it's Sarah from Sarah Humphrey Embroidery and it's that time again folks. World Embroidery Day is approaching, it's on Sunday the 30th of July. So that just means one thing, my lovely stitchers, it's time for another Stitching Around the World video. So if you are new to our channel and you haven't seen these videos yet, you can check them out up here and I'll also put a link in the description below this video to the playlist for those. We started them during lockdown and lots of people were starting embroidery for the first time and I wanted a way to all connect with each other and share what we were doing. Um, so we did a few of those um, and then that morphed into Stitching Around the World at Christmas and then it's become Stitching Around the World for World Embroidery Day. So we hope this is something that we'll be able to do every year. So the idea of this is for you to share what you are working on or something that you have made with me and then we will make a little video of everybody's clips of what they're making. We'll put them all together in a video and we will share that on the YouTube channel. So it's a way for us all to get together and to have a look at what each other is working on and just to share that experience and to share our enjoyment of this um, lovely art form. So what we need from you is a short video, just one to two minutes is absolutely fine to show us what you're working on or something you've made previously or something that you would like to share with us that's stitching or embroidery related, please. If you see the previous videos, you will see how other people have filmed it and all you need to do is to do it on your phone. It doesn't need to be any fancy filming equipment like that. And it's always nice to see you. So if you can put you in it, we would really like to see you. And you can do that very easily. I'll show you how to do that. So you just get yourself a stack of books and you can turn your phone on, place it on the stack of books. Make sure the camera is pointing towards you so you have the front camera on your phone. And then you can just hit the record button and you're in shot and we can see what you look like. And then you can just hold your embroidery up to the camera and you can talk about the embroidery that you've made and you can show us some features of it, why you've made it, why you've enjoyed making it um, and show us all your amazing stitching skills. Or if you don't want to be in shot or you're finding that a little bit difficult to do, that's absolutely fine. You can just put your embroidery down on a surface in front of you. You can turn your camera back to the back camera on your phone and you can just hit the record button and then you can just show us around your piece on the table. When you're recording your little video, do tell us who you are, give us your name, tell us where you are in the world. We don't need your address, just um, your country or whereabouts in that country are and we'll see how many times we can get around the world. There's a couple of things I just want to mention about making your video that's really important. So YouTube is in this format. <laughs> So please make sure that you tone, turn your phones this way and not this way. We can't see your beautiful work very clearly if you have it this way. So make sure it's in landscape format. Turn your phone. If you've got the flip feature on on the phone, make sure that the picture, the image is that way around as well. Um, that makes uh, means we can see your beautiful work and, and Jonathan does doesn't spend ages trying to reformat it properly. So do make sure you turn your phone that way so we can see what you're working on. Please can I also ask that you don't have any music playing in the background or you don't edit any music into your video if you like to do that. YouTube may pick that up and it may hit us with a copyright strike and we don't want that. So please no music in your videos. And the same goes for any links as well, Instagram or any other link you might want to put on. Please don't put it on the screen for the same reason. You can send it to me and I'm happy to share it in the description below the video once it's been verified. There are full instructions on how you can make a video on our Stitching Around the World page on the website. I will put a link in the description below this video for you to go to there and see that. And there's also a link to Dropbox where you can upload your videos and send them to us. Anyone can join in this project. If you have joined in before, it would be lovely to welcome you back and see what you're working on since we last saw you. If you're new to the channel and you're new to embroidery, please do join in too. It doesn't matter where you are in your journey and how good you think your embroidery is. This is about sharing an experience and being part of a community. Um, and I really like to have some new stitches in there and um, sharing your work with us. So please do join in this um, exciting video. It would be great to see videos from as many different countries as we can. I know in a previous video, I think we got to five different continents, which was fantastic. So do uh, represent your country proudly and do show us your work. The deadline to send your videos to us is a week before World Embroidery Day, please. So that's Friday, the 21st of July, 2023. That will give Jonathan time to compile them. And then we will put that video up on World Embroidery Day, which is the Sunday, the 30th of July. 
So if you're not sure about joining in and you're a little bit apprehensive about it, you don't need any special skills. We just want to see you and your embroidery. Do check out these videos up here from um, other people who have joined in in the past. Get some inspiration, see how they have done it um, and get filming everybody because we can't wait to see your videos coming in for World Embroidery Day 2023.